Do you mean I'm with an option? Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. To my returning subscribers, hi Bolivia. I hope you guys are doing great. Thanks again for tuning in. And if you're new, hi love, I welcome you to the Happiness Express. Please do join my team by subscribing and of course turning on the notification bell so that the next time I post the video, you and I can be together on the same page. I get one of Ohio. So today I am here with the story time for you guys, tell you guys exactly what happened. I am nailless, guys. If you guys can see, I had a purple um, nail polish. And yeah, how shall I matter if I can see whether there's something abnormal somewhere around here? It's because I lost my nail. So, guys, okay, without wasting any time, let's get into the video. Okay, guys, so this is what happened. Ne? So, I went to go visit um, Bestie. You guys remember Bestie, the best friend, the male best friend? Yeah, not Antoana. So I went to go visit him and then yeah it happened that he had to go uh, to some family it was a you know when they invite you very last minute and tell you hey there's this family gathering happening so it's like you know what no just because of I came to visit now you're gonna you know cancel your no it's fine you can actually go and then again where at bestie's house ne? he he he's renting with this guy yeah, so okay, Mukai was uh, fortunately Mkayawaka. Um, I'm from Pushpa Krish, Mpumalanga. So okay, Mukai, two months ago or three months ago, Mukai uh, took his girlfriend from home, Amutlisa Kamo. So okay, yeah, so it was that thing. I know I have her, the girl, I wanna. So yeah, she'll give, she'll keep me company, man. It's okay, good right. Yeah, well, I'm like, ah, best to go, man. You'll find me here, my friend. I'm here for you. Just go, you'll come back and you'll find me here. Ah, okay, bestie left Vele when bestie left i was left with that girl ah that girl's like hey you know there's a birthday party of another girl the girl is also from same thing as us she's also from bushy so ah the girl is like okay let me give the girl's name the girlfriend's name um, um let's go with ranzo ranzo yeah so okay ranzo was Okay, she was. She told me, okay, hey, Miguel, there's a birthday party that side. Wada, 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 wada. She's like, let's go. Let's. Hey, okay, it's that thing. Yeah, you know what? We are on some twinning vibe. It's a jean. I was wearing a dark jean. She was wearing a black jean. And then I was wearing a top. A see through. You see those see through tops with the black bra. She was also wearing the same thing. She said, mine has dot dots here. Yeah, she was also wearing the same thing. She had short hair. Ah, and then we left. We Okay, we got there. It was that thing. Yeah, the vibe wasn't so wow, really. Yeah, but as we got there, the girl, the birthday girl, was like, yo, they all left. All the guys left. It was boring, so they go. They went to go start their own party elsewhere and whatnot and whatnot. Ah, so um, oh, Ranzo, we calling her Ranzo. Ranzo on the side is like, how? Why don't we also go out? You know, it's your birthday after all. Let's go celebrate something, something. We went. We went to go there. There, 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 there was no vibe there. It was like. <sighs> what's going on and I'm like okay guys I'm bored I'm bored we left that boring place we went to the next place the next place was like it sucked but that's not important we sit there listening to music it was that thing and then Ranzo's boyfriend calls and he's like I'm coming Get you guys there You're like okay cool no problem hi there Fika Sana Fika and back to the house when we got there vele it was that thing yahore they chilling vele ah we were chilling inside the house as well little one it's boring the vibe is not really even a boom now did i know ranzo is a bit drunk nyana man not drunkish mara i'm not there like i i don't see that yabo okay fine i not even five minutes later less than five minutes later Ranzo's boyfriend is like, yo, let's leave, let's go, let's go back home. They're like, okay, we're gonna walk you guys. It's quite a distance, but it's not really, if you're used to walking, it's not really that bad. I, okay. <laughs> Ratamai, Ratamai. Oh, they give her a big slice of cake actually walking. When we get to the garage, Mugel, I don't know what happened. Are a cake? How is a cake? That's Ranzo. Mugai, the boyfriend. Turns back and then he's there all angry like and then when I what's going on? What's your problem? Like one more chica. And I come closer. 
I make I take it as a joke because not to me like if someone did that to me it, it would be a joke like oh, why are you tripping it's just cake it's just cake and in a corner like something must have happened like I think one would too deal or something so I'm there like I turn it into a joke and then he walks away I still don't realize for so I want hi okay I talk to the girl girl what's going on in in the girl is now angry I'm like I will what's going on I make her aware you're making me feel uncomfortable you can't just get angry and not tell me what's going on I am here now I don't know anyone here I know you and your boyfriend Pofu I know you let's leave the boyfriend out ah okay and then she explains she's like yeah I can see it's my bae he's angry in in he's angry why is he angry because of the cake he's thinking I'm embarrassing him yeah this is how he always is I never even thought we're there yeah this is how he always is now she's starting to tell me how they are when they're drunk yeah this is how he always is when he's drunk he thinks I am this embarrassing person he doesn't want me next to him I don't understand why he doesn't even want me coming to him when he's with his friends I'm like Is that bad? Is that bad? Okay, girl. Okay, I'm like, okay. Let's keep it on, okay? You know, most I'm a girl, I mean, but you know, let's keep it on, okay? Now my girl starting to complain about everything. I'm like, in my head, I'm like, nah, you know what, friend? Ne? I feel like you're drunk and you're just overlooking everything. This person didn't really look angry. He was just surprised for what happened. That's what he was asking. And then he's like, and then she's like, you don't know him. I know him. He's like this. He's always been like this. He, 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 he. I'm like, okay, you know what, friend? Let's go. I, we start going. Ah, my girl starts crying on the way. <laughs> ah, I'm like, I know what's going on. He's like, she's like, yeah, I can see him. He's angry. He's pissed. He can't wait for us to get home. I'm like, why is he angry again? She, she thinks it's because of the cake saga. I'm like, ah, cake, seriously, come on, dog, like this person works. I'm not saying any cake, I'm not saying right. If, if it will make him feel better, we'll wake up in the morning and then we'll go buy it, me and you together. And she's like, no, it's not about that. It's about what just happened now. And now she's starting to talk about things about if the guy even love her. But it's like, why is this escalating to a whole new level? What's going on? Ah, Mugen started telling me a whole lot of things that some obviously I can't share. Okay, fine. Brr. Fast forward, we get home. When we get home, okay, fine. When we got there, it was that thing. I'm settling down so that Bestie can tell me about his day, what happened, so that I can also tell him about my day. Ah. Now that they they play music like loud music they're playing music it's that thing okay music but we don't mind it because it's it's a saturday is that mood very even outside it's loud how i can hear some screamings like ah i'm like Mm -mm, no, that sounds like someone is crying. But then I don't take it to head. I will continue. So let's take it. So let's take it. Rako. Rako. Hi. Karina, Koke Uterman, Nam, and the Ras is getting serious now. Like they literally. Ah, wow, wow. They're even out of their room. They sounding from the. Their sound comes from uh, the sitting room and the kitchen. And I'm like, ah, ah, man, no. No, I, I, I need to find out what's going on here. Be, mind you, I'm wearing my pyjamas, okay, and my, 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 my pink pyjamas, they, it's literally a panty, I'm like, no, let me just go and check quickly, when I go out, I can see people are, they, they hear, you can tell her these people are but because I can't tell my mom I can't tell my mom, these people are, they are about to fight, and I'm there like, I, I, I leave the boyfriend alone, I'm like, I'm gone, What's going on? What's wrong? You're scaring me. What's going on? Ah! Mungani, instead of answering me, she starts swearing. Isn't it this stupid boyfriend? What, 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 She's holding her phone in her hand. What, 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 what. Next thing, she takes. We are. Well, we in the we in the sitting room, kind of way, She takes the phone. Oh 
Mugai is sitting down while she's busy screaming. Mugai is like, I was Sanya, this one. We're Sanya. She's always like this when she's drunk. And I'm tired of her bullshit. Every time when we're drunk, this is what we have to deal with. Hi, man. Hi, Suga. Hi, was Sanya. I'm tired, I'm tired. Oh, okay. it's like, no, your problem is that you don't want to listen. You don't listen to me. Every time when I try to talk to you, you you, you, you always think I'm drunk. So from my observations, and later on when we spoke, I think the problem was that Mugel, Mugel is afraid to talk to Mugai. Their relationship is new, apparently. I think they started last December. Mugel does not talk to the guy. She, she cannot communicate with the guy unless a uh, she has to be under some kind of substance even though not some kind of substance she has to be under the uh, influence of alcohol in order for her to be able to talk to the boyfriend about anything really so that's the problem and then when she starts talking to the guy because when she's not drunk she's this hey hey makoti mugel is only 21 she just turned 21 actually about 24th of september somewhere there. <laughs> Hey, my God! Do Miguel bath us hundred times a day? Miguel, what? Can I go to Miguel? How one miracle? Okra, the food is just ready. It's sitting there. I'm like, this is a whole another level of fat and said, bra. This is how many long one? They don't have a baby, ne? But I'm not judging. I'm just saying, hold now. I can't. I can't just because of I live with the man. Now I have to bath five times a day. For me, if I feel hold bathing twice or once a day. I, fresh, like it works for me then like there's no boyfriend or no husband or whatever that's gonna change that for me and then I, I won't have to feel the pressure before he comes back I must cook I must if I feel lazy that take it like my life it's like hey hubby yo I'm lazy I'm tired I'm this I'm that hey Mugello Abereka yo she works like on a daily basis and I'm like no that's not me, it's not me, it's not me. So yeah, that's what I think happened. Kukhori, Mugai won't listen to her because she only wants to talk when she's drunk. And Mugai thinks it's the drunk her talking and quite honestly, the girl just needs to talk to him. He needs him to listen. And he does, she does say, Kukhori, guy, you don't listen to me when I'm sober. You don't take me serious. So now this is the only time I can try to be serious with you. Just listen to me. And Mugai just didn't want to listen to her. Okay, fine. Zuz, zuz. Rewind. Mugali abue, abue, amoroche, amoroche, amoroche. And then she's holding her phone like it in her hand. Kibona phone say, fufa mo yeng, if ita mokho naso, vu. In front of my face, ishapa Mugai mo Hey, hey. Hi, Mushimana Letonga Emela. Mushimana Letonga Emela. Hi, Emela. I'm like, oh shit. I move back so that he can pass because, hey, Nali Batista, Nato Fita Lin Namo. I'm like, ah, uh -uh, whoa. I move back. A Fita. Ha Fita Mo. Mugelwa wanna approach aprochua yena. She quickly walks to the. Um, to the kitchen. Ha Fita ka kitchen. She opens the drawer. On ta tipa. Tipa. Like, tip. Tipa, get a knife. I mean the knife. Okay. And then she holds the knife. Is that thing you're now? Like, I don't know if she's ready for all or what's going on. Half a time she turns around. She's trying to open the thing. She doesn't even have the key with her. She's trying to open the door. She's trying to open the door. She's fighting with the door. Ah, Mokai yaba wa fila. Mokai gets there. Mokai is facing that direction again. <laughs> One clap! Mugela fofa shapa raki abo wa kura ke boni ni komi kise ni wa hey kule mese fe la mofa se amola ta kape kure wila wana like bamo clap eso afu fe aye kakuwa bamo la te kakuwa bamo clap eso mose tsa mo mo kwa la laka koning hamo kwa la laka koning ometa so wa 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 I'm there like yo yo what the hey yo hi bestie is chilling umta se bestie is chilling even the door is closed. Again, Ubratas. He's chilling. He's not even coming out. Like, he's not coming out. He's all quiet there. So now I notice the the, the knife, and I can see Hormogel wants to guaza the guy now. Now I'm getting scared. So now Wamutwara and then Umutenisa around to face my direction, and they kind of the girl is holding the knife more at the plank side, ne? and even here where mohu mohu thaban thing. So there's like this space because it's a long knife. The guy's holding both her hands like. On the knife, oh, but now I'm there like, no, you guys, you're scaring me. I'm panicking. I'm like, no, Mugali, you're gonna go to jail. No, what the fuck? No, Woo, ah, I hold the knife. 
Ne? I hold the knife and I hold the guy. I try to pull the guy away. Getrail rapper kupula the knife. I used so much power on the knife. I broke it. Bumtasi. I broke it. Marake, I did not only broke break the thingy, the knife. I broke my nail as well. Kuri when I was still holding it. Na la 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 resut. Haler kuta kape inering. I'm like ah. That was only only then. Mr. Masumbuke came rushing. Fush. I'm like, wow, what a great time for you to bless us with your presence. He walks in, when he walks in, he notices that I'm hurt, he pushes me to the side and then he tries to solve the situation until things are chilled. Mogel takes the key, opens the door and then she walks out. Mind you, give him a 12, 12 one somewhere there. Hey. Because we already find people standing at the door, or more. We just like I'm running after her. Hakapara! I am so worried. I, I, like I even forgot about the pain. I even forgot who I'm not dressed. And now Bestie's is running after me because I'm not even dressed. It's a mustard but then luckily it was kind of empty mustard like wafamba. You know about it's like wafamba. She's farming, bruh. Ah, then I'm farming behind her. I'm like, I'm gonna come and slow down. Hey, I'm gonna, oh, oh, let's talk about this. I'm gonna, where are you going? She's like, I don't care. I just wanna have her. I'm like, oh, God. When are we happy? Yeah, happy. Where are you going? I'm like, no. Okay, let me be a good friend. I kind of wanna turn around now. I'm already in the middle of this. I'm like, I'm gonna, please, can you slow down? And when she tries to slow down, oh, boyfriend is coming. The boyfriend, ah, when I the boyfriend is coming, she starts picking up. Ah, the boyfriend starts running. Ah, as I go to, I'm thinking, "Who are you going to be with?" Lo, who are you pinned? I'm like, I just stood there, in, like in the middle of them. I'm like, "Yo, bro, no, chill." Ah, my girl, I'm not sure I can't talk. Come back into the house. Come back. Ah, the girl's like, "No, I'm not going there. Leave me alone. Leave me. Leave me. I wanna be alone. Let go of me." Wara 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 wara. Ah, and then the guy just holds this like, "You're not going anywhere." Where do you think you are going that side? It's not safe. I'm like, what? What's going on? Like, what just happened? Mugelu fainted. Mugelu ha fainted. Khutla, bestest friend comes. Bestie's friend helps uh, the boyfriend to carry the girl. Kuri, it was all a drama because now she's all there being spaghetti. Kuri, kiss spaghetti. She's here. She's like this. Bamos The hand is. The head is. Everything is just going on. I'm like, is this? Did this? But yeah, she told me before that Koreana, she's not. She has a condition. She's not supposed to be too happy or too angry. She faints. I'm like, okay. I guess this is the too angry stage. Mugai gets tired. The friend, my best friend's friend, gets tired. And then, Wafeta. Hafeta, the boyfriend has to carry her by herself. By himself. Mugai, I drop a mugel fast. Kero, ashapaka tlogo. Ki! Fast. I'm like, whoa. Drumungali nako, kia mutla waza vela. Kia mutla waza vela. Kia mutla kari footstep. Lena, I go out. I follow her. She goes to the toilet. And then, she just sits there in the toilet. And then, I just sit with her down. And then we just there trying to talk. I'm like, Mgani, what the hell happened? I Mugela explained that she's talking about no guy actually. Like, guys, still at that point, my finger, I, I couldn't really feel the pains, what's going on. And then I like, I don't want to know, it was bad, guys. A nail is painful. Hey. <laughs> Anyways, we're sitting there on the floor. I'm busy trying to make her feel better, like, no, I'm gone, it's okay, calm down, what happened, why did you hit him with the phone? Because according to me, ne, she wouldn't have got herself beaten if she didn't throw the phone at his face in front of me. Because now I think Mugai only that Zulu tendency or that Zulu mindset that Hore, you know, so that thing kind of made him wanna act. If I wasn't there, maybe you wouldn't have done anything. Huh? 
So now I'm okay. I explain. I don't know. I was just trying to talk to him. He doesn't listen. This, 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 this. So I ended up pulling the blankets and then he got angry and he slapped me. I'm like, oh, so he slapped you in there, in the bedroom first before you guys got into the dining room. And then <clears throat> she's like, yeah, I'm like, wow. I've never seen this side of him. I was like, no, I'm cold. So let's go inside. I'll give you some blankets and then you sleep in the sitting room. I gave her a pillow and some blankets, like lots of blankets so that she can be comfortable. And then I sit with her. While I was sitting with her, she was in the blankets and we were talking. She was talking loudly so that I'm like, let me let it be. I'm going to drop it again. I'm going to drop it anyways. Ah, at the end of our conversation, and go and apologize and i'm just there like i'm tired number one i just want to sleep i'm in pains this nail is just so i'm not gonna say anything but in my head i'm like what the one are you crazy like this guy just beat the living ish out of you and you want to go back to him and apologize because now i suggest him for no you know what Nimgan, go back to the room and just get there and sleep the following day, hear what he has to say. At least he wasn't going to work. It was a Sunday. Hear what he has to say. Otherwise, he gave you money to come here. All the way from Pumalanga to here. To Gauteng. So he will give you money to go back. If he doesn't want you here anymore. No, Mugeli. Mugeli, I are no. Are I can jalo. Not like that. I am going to apologize to him. I was like, ow. Oh, okay. Cool. She stood up, she went, and I left, and I don't know what happened after that, but we did sleep, and the following day, Mokai was so embarrassed. He was so embarrassed, he couldn't even look into my eyes. Now I woke up, I did what I had to do, I got my nail kind of covered, Nyana, and I sat down with the girl, and we were just talking like nothing happened. He even tried to jump into the conversation, you know what? things like that. The guy didn't even bother. Days went on and on. I, I, I obviously left. I went back to my place and apparently he didn't even apologize to the guy. You know, the guy never even bothered. He didn't go to apologize. He didn't do any of that. Instead, he moved out. A few weeks later, not even many weeks, I think it was a week or two. He decided to move out. I want to war, rala, or rala, do that. Run body extension, body ink. If we went there, we'd find the house empty. Oh, want to go to or write a write a little fridge. This in Zaha. But then, anyways, yeah, that happened. The poor girl didn't even know. Like she didn't know because she'd sit with me when the guy goes to work and stuff like that. We'd chill together and talk, talk, play, or whatnot. Oh, what if I am a guy? It's a feature. Hey, we going, we going, and the girl is just there, like. <laughs> whole experience was just like wow like guys i've never really had to experience watching a guy beating up a girl like so yeah not that i am like and whatnot no it's not that it's just that that experience it was it was it was it was it was it it's never okay to beat up a girl guys like bashiman you guys need to stop that it's never okay on top of this thing of men beating up women especially like body boyfriend beating up their girlfriends like it's not on guys it's seriously not on i don't like it i don't condone it i do not support it anyways guys thanks for watching i hope you guys enjoyed uh this video yeah moral of the story hey guys in Puman and the Wenza Bantu. <clears throat> Puman and the Wenza Bantu. And quite honestly, when I told my mom the story, well, the story that I told my mom, she was like, no, don't do that. Don't ever involve yourself. You are not married, and she's acting like a married person. How long to on your thing? If you're not married, don't be friends with people that are not married because, like, what advice are you guys going to give each other? And I kind of understood my mom because, after losing my damn thing, I'm trying to save her and save her from herself and her boyfriend. At the end of the night, Mugel went back and she apologized. Imagine, who apologized to her box seats? That's exactly what she's apologizing for. Her box trapped. 
forward. So that that was <clears throat> very stupid of me. I'm not being judgmental or what, but guys, come on. Like this, this video I was watching airing it. Ladies, you have to normalize walking away. You know, you have to normalize not being afraid of pain. Pain is thing that we live with. Like Rapilaka you're not every day. So you can't wanna say I love him, I'm afraid of heartbreak, that's why I'm gonna turn myself into this idiot person. Bantrapa, I apologize. He did not enjoy the food, I apologize. He's shouting and beating at me because I cooked chicken three times in a week. I apologize. First of all, am I your chef? Am I your personal chef? Secondly, did you even pay Lobola? Oh my lord, they don't even know you at my house. My mom or my dad has no idea that you exist in my life. And then when I talk on Trapela Khor, I did not cook for you what you want. You did not even say Khor what you wanted. I cooked, you do not appreciate. No guys, like ladies, no. Like sometimes you gotta, you gotta upgrade. Even if you're depending on the guy, he's not the last man on earth. Trust you in me. They are men. So guys, please normalize walking away in toxic relationships. Like, <clears throat> once I go I don't know. That's it. I won't say leave him, but like observe the situation quite well. Like, this is not the first and the last time. There is many more to come. But you stay. What do you want to see, that's it? You want to see yourself dead? Do you think you have any control of yourself when you're dead? I don't think so. Anyways, we're not about that today. I was just telling you how I lost my finger. I hope you guys enjoyed the story. Do come back for my next video. I'm out of here.